Hey, I'm Jared from Shaping the Silence, and today I have an announcement. I now have kits available for the hex board, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out on my website in the description. And in this video, I will be giving you a brief overview of the assembly process. So, let's get into it. The first thing you'll want to do is plug it in to make sure all the lights work, make sure it survives shipping. Second thing you'll want to do is install the programming switch, so just press it into place and solder it on. After that, we install the heat set insert. So you take your soldering iron and press them into the plastic. Now you see this is bulging out plastic around it in the video. I fixed that in the design. You shouldn't have to deal with that. Now we get out all the parts for our keys and make sure that the pins on the switches are unbent. You might have to straighten out some of them. Press it into place, put a rubber ring on the keycap and push it on top. Make sure it sticks through well and solder it into place. I start by doing this to four corners and the center, and then I go ahead and do all the rest of it. You'll want to have some pressure on the keycaps from below, so that way they're pushing through all the way when you solder them into place. Now do note all the keycaps have a seam on them, and it goes the same direction, so what I ended up doing was facing the seam downward, so that way I had a more consistent look. Next, we install the screen. Yes, I know the video shows me doing things out of order, but do as I say, not as I do. And on that note, don't press on the screen directly. Press on the edges, otherwise you will crack the screen. Anyway, the pins should only come through the circuit board just barely enough for you to feel. Go ahead and solder those into place, and we'll be on to the next step, which is plugging it in and testing it. And, ooh, look, down on the bottom corner, there are some broken lights on there, which means I'm gonna have to start all over again. Oops, I should have checked before I started. Anyway, onto the encoder. Go ahead and straighten out the pins on it, line it up until it finally slots in there. Hold it in while you turn it over, and then solder it into place. Now the two mounting lugs on the side will need some extra heat in order to get the solder to flow on it, so crank up your soldering iron for those, and we'll be done. At this point, it's a great time to test things out, so plug it in, see that everything's working, then screw the back plate in, press the bezel into place, push the knob on top of the encoder, and you're all set. And that's it. Enjoy your new instrument. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video, guys. Have a good one. Bye.